Look, I know that we have a very limited time to go and free Gondor, but we have a lot of side questing to do. Hey, welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 3! I'm Sarah Matheson. Last time, we finished up getting our information for our break in to the prison camp, but this time we are going to start off our long line of side questing. I'm talking to Travis. Oh, hey, perfect timing. You know what? I've already smashed up a few flame clocks so far, right? Yeah, if you are, I guess. Why? But the thing is, the lost numbers are going to start paying out a bounty of damage dealt to Mobius. Here you go. Get a oh, gust bracelet. Very nice. Know his whereabouts, the real queens. I really hope everything works out. You don't think we can handle it? No, no, it's got nothing to do with you guys and the plan. Sorry, just forget I said anything. The boss on my gust regardless if I say something not supposed to. Very good to know as we meet more people. This goes here, that goes there. Uh, just check in whenever you complete a new colony. And get some other stuff from that. All under control. Uh, we'll switch to Noah. It's been a while since we played as Noah. Oh. I played as him during the off-screen fight at Corn Island. We're going to zip on up. And I believe it is here. I joined the Lost Numbers in the hopes of becoming as fine a man as Guernica. In the hopes of becoming as strong and as kind as him, yet even as of this day, it still remains an aspiration. Have you got Guernica Van Dam? Or Van Dam. This is what we need for our next quest. We're just gonna pop into the Machiba Canteen. No reason not to. Uh, it is a place where we can discuss. We could do with Hop some food. on in, go to Discuss, and Gernica Van Dam. We've been through a lot since we started like, getting to the city, huh? But we all made it through in one piece. That's something to be thankful for. Yeah. And we've seen a world that we've never known before, experiencing it for the first time. I just wish I could have let Gernica know of it, too. If it wasn't for him, we'd have been cut down right where we stood. Yep, or maybe just ended up blindly killing each other in battle like every other Sramak. I'm glad it didn't come to that. Yeah, think about it. The old man gave us, it was immense. But in the end, we won't know a flippin' thing about the guy, will we? Kinda sucks. I mean, it's pretty late in the day, but I really want to know more about him. I wonder what his motive was for giving us his power. No, in fact, I think we have a duty to fight. Because like him, we stand together with the people of the city. Seems all the city folk thought he was a pretty awesome guy, huh? Especially Monica. He's a really special person for her, right? Dude, Monica was referring to him as Dad, even. It's a city custom. It's what they call the person who raises them. Perhaps we could ask Monica about Gunnerka, find out what he really thought. After all, we're carrying his dreams now, fighting to make them real. And that starts off Van Damme's heir. I will pronounce it as Van Damme. Um, I believe it's if usually just going, Vandom. Then time but to going. Whatever. Not a huge deal. Are you in the war room? Yes, you are. Okay. Was not there before, but that's fine. We can go and pop on in. I don't think this is a terribly long quest. No. Monica, can we talk? What's up? Sounds ominous. We were hoping we could ask you about someone. Guernica, in fact. About Dad? Everyone in the city speaks so highly of him. But we still don't know a whole lot about him. I think we owe him that much. Alright. Where do you want to start? You were brought up by him, right? So... We thought you'd probably understand him better than anyone else. I wish that were the case. The Guernica Van Damme that I knew was a man that I always looked up to. He was always busy keeping the city together or fighting out on the front line. Always distant. After Terry life, he didn't even talk to me like a parent anymore. You mean... you weren't on very good terms? I got to know the man, I think. But not the father. I just thought that we'd have more time together. Huh. 
Hey, boss. You're making the kids feel guilty. <sighs> Sorry. I don't blame you guys for any of this. Dad, Guernica, died in the line of duty, trying to accomplish his aim. But that's not all. He died fighting for what he believed in, and he saw it through. Of that much, I'm sure. For what he believed in? Well, about that, there still might be a bit of unfinished business there. He sure was adamant about getting stuff home to people. Yeah, for certain. Sorry, what do you mean exactly? Personal effects from the deceased. Things that family and friends can remember them by. We don't leave any other mark behind that says, we were here, you see? If there are people waiting for you, then you just want to leave something behind, whatever it may be. I was in the rear guard. I know just how dangerous that battlefield was. <laughs> Maybe it's better not to dwell on that. Hmm. But... There are personal items that have been left behind, though, right? Huh? Maybe... You'd let us do something to help out with that. It must be really painful for the people who never got the chance for closure. Yeah, right? I'm starting to get a handle on how they see things in the city. Sort of. But if there's something we can do about it, I want to try to help. I appreciate the sentiment, guys. But why go to all this trouble? Well... We'll get some closure from doing this, too. We were losing friends every day. And before we became Uroboros, some of us used to be offseers. Guernica went to all that trouble for others. And when it happened, he was thinking of everyone waiting for him in the city. So I'd like to help his voice find its way. Hmm. Much appreciated. Speaking personally, Good on you. Travis, could you pull us down? Roger that. Give me a moment. There's... We've got a list of deceased soldiers and the likely locations where they fell. Could you check out the waypoints around Alfeso Valley? That's some impressive precision. Kind of you to notice. See, that's the thing about us lost numbers. We just don't know when to quit. Okay, guys, it's up to you now. When you're done, could you meet me at the Remembrance Stones? Got it. You have my word. I see some relations have changed. And so we go back to where it all started. Pop on into the Gura Flava Lowland, which is just a weird name, Gura Flava. It's like a, a weird kind of dessert or some such, as the Napon would say. They do like the word some such. Of course, as we pop in, there is, well, a little bit more difficulty than we had initially hoped. Huh. Well, we've been it's like there's a little bit of a patrol coming on in. The Agnians showing up, not sure exactly where. I wouldn't think that it's part, you know, exactly from. Uh, I wouldn't think that it's from the, the colony for a moment, but entirely possible. Uh, any fights that I have from this point on, because I mean, we're almost done with this fight, I'm just gonna cut out. Uh, these aren't particularly difficult fights, it's just normal Agni and stuff. But, so, uh, don't mind. We have some basic soldiers. I guess that's why no one could find you. Well, we'll get you things back to the city, don't worry. So, uh, Zuo's belongings. If we traipse on over 
here. Another group that's very far from the battlefield. It's a really long way from where the Levis crashed. Don't worry, we'll bring your belongings back to the city. Get Hewa's belongings. And last is Yu's. I believe we had talked previously to Yu's sister. Encountered her in the city. Yeah, I mean, we, we encountered you, sister, before here. I guess they were hidden away so they wouldn't get damaged. Get your stuff back to the city for you. Except you use belongings, and now that's really about it. Again, this is a very quick quest. Um, and, I mean, we already have a little bit of experience with Monica, kind of, so it makes sense, but, you know. I, I'm always appreciative of a very quick quest. Um, just because Hero Quest I do just as one episode. That's the whole thing for the episode. We've brought their belongings. Thanks. Means a lot. Can you lay them out here? Now you mention it, didn't Monica put an eye patch here? Yeah, that was Guernica's. What does it mean exactly? Placing people's belongings here? Uh, how can I explain it? Um, you guys have off-seeing, right? I guess this is our version of that. Off-seeing for city folk? Hmm. You got here first. Boss, we were waiting for you. Brother Yu. Zuo. They made it back. Hiwa. You always kept such good care of this. Now look at it. I just wish that we could have talked more. But you're home now. Thanks to you, these people got a chance to say farewell to their loved ones. And I got to fulfill Dad's dying wish. Thank you. You're finally home. <laughs> These people, they weren't just sacrifices. They've entrusted us all with the future. As the Founders did, looking back is not an option.
So that was enough seeing. The sound of that music, it's really something else. I don't think anyone here will forget this day, as long as they live. The Fallen never got to win their battles, but maybe now they can get some rest. Yeah, finally. Speaking of, you ought to get some rest too. You're gonna be pretty busy from now on. You said it, boss. Well, wait, just how busy are we talking here? From now on, I'll be traveling with Noah's crew. Huh? But then who's gonna handle things in the city? You'll be here, won't you, Travis? <sighs> like father, like daughter, eh? Dad spent his life on the front line, and I want to carry on that tradition. I understood that when I heard the Offseer's play. It has to be me. I have to carry on his legacy, fulfill his hopes. I'll fight for you now. Call on me anytime you need my help. Thank you. That's truly heartening. I hope we'll get to know each other outside of battle too. There's so much I'd like to ask you about yourself, the city. No worries. A word of warning, guys. The boss's stories are long. If you've got time to rip on the boss, I might just assign you some more duties, Travis. Oh. Well, at least I won't have to worry about the city while I'm gone. Just holler if you need me. We'll take you up on that. And Zelda finishes a nice, short, and sweet quest in the Van Damme's heir, unlocking Monica and the Lost Vanguard for Uni. The Lost Vanguard... I'll come again soon. Keep an eye on me, would you? Of course, Monica jumps into the party right away. The Lost Vanguard is one of the best face tanking classes in the entire game. Of course, you do have some good evasion tanks, but the Lost Vanguard is very good at just taking things straight on. For its class skills, come and get me. We'll do, uh, we'll do a, do a portion of damage back to enemy when you block, which draws more aggro. Now that's tactics. We'll just be a straight uh, TP boost, I believe up to 15. Never again will have a chance to absorb ally, uh, absorb attacks dealt to allies. So that's your area thing. And when taking damage, there is a chance to inflict knockback on the assailant. As for its uh, as for its arts, rather, shockwave will inflict knockback on enemies that are performing arts, canceling the art in the process. Mighty Beat is our first smash normal art. Of course, we do have the talent art from. The Flash Fencer, that is a smash opportunity to get one for ourselves. Shield Wall will, uh, I believe this is, as you are, what is this exactly? I think this is as you guard, um, you will, actually is this, uh, I'm not 100% certain how this works, it's weirdly worded, but you will recover some HP as you do things. I think this is as you block attacks, you will gain a little bit of HP. Electro Field will do an Armor Veil field, which is very nice, and Taunt Pulse will do continuous damage to enemies in a fixed radius and draw more aggro. Again, uh, oh, as for the uh, Talent Art, Thunder Steel will do extra damage to machines. Very situational, but it does also inflict Bind, which is pretty good. And it recharges pretty quickly good. Uh, yeah, again, the, the Lost Vanguard is one of the best face tanking classes. It has the highest block rate of any class. Uh, outpacing even the Heavy Guard. Uh, and it's just a very good class for defense all around. Of course, we do have other very good defensive classes in their own rights. Napon Champion is quite good. Um, the Napon Champion is quite good. Guarding Commander is hit or miss. Lost Exile is pretty good. You have... Whoops, didn't mean to press that. Um, I just missed, click, missed a button. But overall, it's pretty 
good, honestly. Um, as you see, S-Class in defense, very fittingly. I think it's our first... Okay, Heavy Guard is also S-Class in defense, but... Lost Vanguard is just better. It's... It's better in every way to the... Uh, the Heavy Guard. But, with that taken care of, next time, we have yet another DLC class to take care of here in the city. But until then, 